Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you a bit different game, which is at the same time kind of the same what you are used to seeing over here on this channel. It features tanks. Now, this game is still in alpha. We are able to test out, we are able to play this uh, alpha demo for free. Actually, link is in the description. This video, I have to say right away, is not sponsored by any means. Nobody knows I'm making it, you know. And in fact, I'm going to send every single cent this video makes uh, to the game via their paypal i just honestly want to see this game uh, succeeding and hopefully uh, this video draws some more light to it uh, to my community as well and um, i what what i see so far i really do like it and let me tell you one thing this game being in public alpha demo stage right now this is basically as early version of the game as it can be uh, to show to public right it already has so many things right in it, uh, so many things inside this game, what I have been wanting to see in World of Tanks for literally years, for too many years, it is not even funny anymore, or in War Thunder as well, it hits many things on the top of the nail. It is kind of a simulator, a tank a simulator, World War 3 tank simulator, we have older tanks, wheeled uh, tanks, we have the AFEs, you know, we have uh, um, even... Uh, guided missiles uh, guided by you know figures or humans inside this game you know i'm going to show you all of this in a moment ladies and gentlemen uh, but uh, it feels so freaking awesome and i said it is a simulator-ish uh, game it definitely is simulator-ish game and it is my kind of simulator-ish game i know there are a couple uh, simulators uh, like hardcore simulators where you basically have to control every single crew member separately gunner uh, driver you have to switch the seats and so on i'm not like super into this type of thing i like to jump into a tank i would like to control everything uh, from one seat basically and this game is uh, offering exactly that you know like in birth tanks like in board thunder anyway let me show you what all of this is right over here and uh, if you are not into this 80s kind of uh, menu you know it is a demo once again public alpha demo as you can see connor coma heat coma pc exclamation mark this is just you know as as alpha as it can be and maybe they are going with it uh, i dig this wipe actually 80s wipe but once again it doesn't showcase the graphics uh, of the game so we have proving grounds so we have some missions over here proving ground basically is where we are going right now just to show you different tanks um, how to play gunner guides uh, credits and stuff like that all is over here what is needed right now but let's go into the proving ground and let me show you what this game has to offer let me show you a couple of things what i have been looking for um, or what I have uh, been wanting to see in World of Tanks or in War Thunder for literally years and years and years, and this game is uh, coming out with those features. Of course, you know, all the other aspects like battles and, uh, and things are not ready, but you get the point. Anyway, first up, uh, this is M60A3, by the way. M60, the legendary M60A3, and I have to say a uh, first thing right away, this is uh, Alpha Temo, right? But uh, the physics how the tank feels is already almost here ladies and gentlemen it actually feels very very good it looks uh, pretty good and um, everything sounds you know um, how it like the entire physics movement movement physics i like it honestly but you know it still needs some fixes here and there but overall very very nice thing now gun stabilizer gun stabilizer is on over here as you can see gun is trying to stay uh, under the angle we did set it under uh, you are able to activate and deactivate it as well uh, full list of controls is on the left side you can see uh, if i press l for example right now the stabilizer is on but if i press l the stabilizer is off and you can see gun is moving together with the hull but now gun is trying to stay in the position uh, where we left it basically now the biggest uh, difference compared to the war thunder compared to uh, world of tanks uh, is the gun movement ladies and gentlemen so right now i don't know if you can hear that or not i'm going to do that even louder mm -hmm. yeah um i was moving with my mouse nothing happened if you want to move your gun and i at first I wasn't super sure about that, but now I really do like it. You have to click your right mouse button, ladies and gentlemen. So let's click it, and now you can uh, start dragging it. And why I like it so much, you can, like, let's say I moved it slightly. 
and I'm not moving my mouse anymore. You know, you can see that little arrow on the bottom getting bigger and bigger, you know, this, uh, this controls your speed and now I'm not moving my mouse anymore. So I basically do not have to do this if I want to spin around, I just give it the speed, you know, and it spins, uh, and it spins it uh, around for me, basically. You have to try it out, like, it's um, a bit weird to get used to at first, if you come from World of Tanks or from War Thunder, uh, but uh, I really do like it. Okay, so, this is how you move your gun, uh, also in the third person, this is how you move your gun, just a quick heads up, and by the way, all the controls are listed on the left side as well, so aim, right click and drag, fire, left click, boom. Okay, gun sounds. This uh, this one sounded a bit weird, but overall I have to say gun sounds are very very nice. Uh, let me, let's just fire in the air. Yeah, I really do like it. So this is M60, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We are able to look at the uh, 3D or X-ray models as well. And later, if we shoot that stuff, uh, we're able to see where the shots uh, hit, and we're able to see the crew members and and so on. Uh, cycle weapon or we are able to change the munition types uh, by pressing one and two keys of course and uh, now the next shell is going to be heat uh, what else we have night vision as well if you want to do that inside inside the um, optics view quick menu lights toggle convoy lights convoy lights should be on right now I don't know if we can see that on, on this vehicle, but anyway, let's move on into the next vehicle. Let's move on into that vehicle, Abrams, ladies and gentlemen. What you are able to uh, play with, what you are able to drive with uh, right from the get-go inside the Proving Ground, but um, as far as I understood, it is available inside the missions uh, for Patreons. But it doesn't matter. Let's go to the shooting range, ladies and gentlemen. Shooting range, which I really do like, once again. And let me show you one very cool feature, what his, um, uh, this tank has, for example. Or what this game has, overall. Uh, if you have the auto range uh, feature available. I believe it works only on auto range. I might be wrong, but anyway, let's go. So Abrams is a high deck, very high deck tank, right? And let's go inside. Basically, you can see from the controls, lays. Uh, if I press E, it automatically calculates the range where I am aiming at right now. And right now, let's do this. Let's aim at this thing, and it is going to... Um, what I'm trying to do over here, basically, is it is going to lead my shot. It is going to calculate the lead if I do it like that. Like, right now, I'm moving together with the target myself. You can see that my arrow is slightly moving on the, on the bottom right. But if I am going to... Go over here, stay just like this, and if I press E right now, did you see what my aiming did? It leads my shot right now inside the middle of the target. Beautiful, absolutely crazy high tech, right? And um, every single shot, basically, what I'm going to take is, um, is on the top right is going to show what I critically damage as well. Boom, just like that. Penetrated upper front plate, engine firewall, engine uh, hull rear plate. And if we are going to be inside the missions as well, you can see how we can penetrate uh, um, commander's skull, um, driver's uh, brain, for example. <laughs> it, is, it, is going to, it is going to be that graphical. Well, not graphical, that... Uh, descriptive actually so that's another shot right over there and uh, let's just uh, jump into the next uh, vehicle right let's go over here so we have some machine guns you can see this is not going to be like super beachy friendly if uh, we have humans inside the tank right like world of tanks and this is also another machine gun what you're able to use and uh, next up, let's go. Oh, yeah, those, those things are quite annoying in uh, some of the missions, uh, hiding, and uh, you're able to use them yourself as well. So ba basically guided missiles. And uh, let, let's do it like that. Let's fire. And let's try to guide that one inside that tank right over there. Boom. Beautiful penetrated turret. Very nice. So we have a little cheap action over here. Willis, I believe, uh, was... Okay, this is another guided missile. Mirror and into the ground it goes. Right? I don't know, where did you go? Okay, there. All the way back there. Right? This is T-72, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully I'm not mistaken, T-72. And uh, this is yet another tank that has the uh, auto range feature. This one has very nice, uh, very nice auto 
uh, reloading gun. And if I fire, boom. Wait a couple seconds. Look what happens at the back of the turret. Boop. <laughs> it literally boops out uh, the fire chill. Okay, so uh, quickly before we jump into one of the missions, so let me just... Uh, let's just actually fire at his Abrams right over here. And look at the right, top right corner. All the critical damaging uh, shots we're going to do or hits we're going to get. Penetrated firewall, road wheel. Um, do we have any crew members inside that tank as well? Let's see. Crashed into the armor surface. Okay, I think I think we didn't find any crew members. Beautiful gun sounds, I have to say. Stop by the rain, and uh, let me show you this uh, auto ranging feature. Let's go all the way back here. For example, I would like to hit the very very far distance. That point right over there. So right now, I would say it falls short quite a lot. Yeah, it fell short quite a lot. But if I press E, it is automatically going to calculate the distance. Just like that. And now, if I would aim the same position, I should be able to get a hit. Beautiful. Direct hit, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, a couple tanks just to showcase to you. This one didn't have the outer range. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, let's just see. Yeah, it one, this, this one didn't have it. This one didn't have it. Yep, sure, so we have to do the manual calculation. Older vehicle, I guess so. Uh, but now, uh, let's go inside the game and uh, let me show you a couple other features of what his... Um, what this game has to offer right now so missions under missions you can see we have all kinds of different missions uh, i have played this m60a3 solo hunt before so let's go <clears throat> i have not finished it i got destroyed but you are a uh, m60a3 all alone in the world uh, unknown number of tanks and 80 gems uh, are the enemies so one m60a3 find and destroy your enemy like the hero you are so let's go and uh, one against the world. Let's do it. Uh, first enemy is right over here. So, let's go. Where are you? And smack. It's so satisfying. Like, the gun sounds inside and outside are so satisfying. Uh, uh, it's boom, Amorek, or maybe. No, 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 no. Okay, let's knock out the driver. Driver is in front of the tank. Uh, penetrate the battery box. Okay, that uh, thing should hit driver's torso, for example. And just for good measure, one into the turret as well. And boom, this tank is fully cooked. And later, ladies and gentlemen, after we are done with it, I'm going to show you every single shot, where it hit, what it damaged, and, and all the x-rays as well, because it already has that. Now, another thing what is quite neat, actually, I don't know, just only maybe for video making, but you can make slow-mo action while you are inside over here. For example, I can slow it down to 0 0.25, 0 0.125, let's slow it down to 0 0.25 and let's fire, for example. Boom! Just like that, everything is in slow-mo. Uh, let's actually reload heat. Next shot is going to be heat. And uh, let's look. Oh, there is one tank. That one I didn't get before, but uh, I know that there are a couple guys with the uh, 80 gems, like right over there. This is the first guy. Okay. Let's range it. And let's try to get the headshot. Hit Connor's right arm, penetrated Connor's right arm, and I believe that guy should be dead. If I penetrate the shell with, uh, if I penetrate the right arm with my freaking tank, that guy should be dead. Okay, let's, ooh, 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 I remember there was another guy right over there, oh my god, that's quite a far distance away, 1.3 kilometers away, ladies and gentlemen, 1.3 kilometers uh, away shot coming in right now. And that was slightly to the left, but maybe now it's calculated. Hit IR spotlight, left track, hit main gun barrel. Okay, let's do it slightly lower. And now, you know, just to be on the safe side, let's try to put one more in upper places. This tank is still moving. Yep, this tank is still moving. 
let's go straight for the lower plate. Boom. Hit warhead. That tank is done. Alright. Let's look for another target. There was one guy driving, right? There was one guy driving right over here. Let's go. And unit lost. I got one shot right now. I actually got one shot. I didn't see. Who was that? Okay, we're able to look at who was it, whoever that was, from this view, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's analyze every single shot we did get. We're able to mm, short them as well. Uh, show hits only, for example, if I take this off, you can see shots 1 out of 15 uh, over here in the middle of the screen. But let's uh, put hits only, and let's also show damaging hits only. So, one out of seven. So, this was the first damaging shot. We can completely analyze where it uh, went, and from the top right corner, you can see what happened. Ricocheted off of Hull floor, ladies and gentlemen, into Connor's left foot, penetrated Connor's left foot, and this is exactly what happened right over here. So, first shot actually didn't do super much. Uh, it um, didn't explode inside the tank. So next shot was a lot more uh, useful. Who is this? Uh, loaders, commanders. Uh, loaders, left leg, penetrated left leg and right leg. Both actually penetrated Holland. So close hitting the Amorek as well. But final shot. Uh, that one went into the warhead. Yeah. Oh, it uh, definitely detonated some... Uh, some... Um, some shells inside the tank. Driver's pelvis, a battery box, a wet rack. Uh, wet rack, okay, so I guess this is why it didn't explode right away. Anyway, this one, beautiful. The deed set everything inside the tank on fire and beautiful. So, first shot uh, penetrated the right arm, exactly like that, uh, into this ATGM guy. Uh, beautiful. And over here, ooh, so this was the first shot. Hit the main gun barrel, and you can see how much heat exploded, actually. Next shot went... Uh... Wait, never mind. But who was the guy? Okay, let's see. Let's see, who was the guy? Two tanks over here. Oh! I freaking see. Two tanks hiding. I didn't even see them, honestly. Quite a freaking long range shot as well, straight into my tank and boom, Amorak penetrated hull side, enter fighting apartment, hit uh, propellant casing, Oof. loader's left foot, one shot and I was done ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, this is how you're able to analyze every single battle, every single mission, looking at the shots where you hit, what you damaged and so on, you're able to learn the enemy tanks and uh, what not. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Connor. Coma, heat, coma, PC, exclamation mark. Link is in the description where you can check this game out yourself as well. Free to download. Uh, if you want to support this project, uh, Patreon, PayPal, Discord community, all the information is inside the game as well or in the description. Once again, not sponsored, just wanted to draw some more light to this game. I really do want to see it succeeding. It's, um, you know, something what... What is missing, you know, World War Three tank simulator. In a way how I like to see it. Not like extreme min-maxing, you know. Like the way I want to see it, basically. And oh, by the way, there was one thing I didn't show you before. Uh, many tanks come with machine guns as well. So basically this is the main uh, weaponry on Abrams. But I can cycle through the guns as well. And we have the minigun as well already working, basically. Already working minigun. Just like this. What happens if I shoot you? Nothing, right? You can see stopped by the rain. Like bouncing off like crazy. It's weird. Hey, I'm a weird guy. Okay, let's switch back to the shell. And for the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen, thank you M60 for being so awesome. And did I actually just blew it up? First shot. Amorak. I guess we just blew that guy up and no turret on the vehicle anymore. And I, I do like the, like another thing what I like. We just blew up the vehicle, right? 
and it didn't change the outer color because it actually doesn't change after blowing up, you know. You can use this turret, ladies and gentlemen. You can use this turret. Again, you can actually use that again. Uh, what, what about you? Can we blow up you as well? Let's, uh, let's see. Can we penetrate that? Ooh! Two shots, two kills, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that finish right over there. Free camera as well for you. Absolutely amazing. So, ladies and gentlemen, link is in the description. Check it out or don't check it out. My job over here was to just inform you about this game. Hopefully it succeeds. We'll see. It may take like many, many years, but... Um, let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below, where you can also find like button, dislike button. Let me know how you feel about this game yourself and uh, subscribe for more action in the future. I'll catch you next time. Take care, stay awesome, stay sexy and bye.